Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here with class number 227. Me, a photographer, for the last 50 years here in New York City, giving you all of my experience, hopefully every day or every other day here on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, comment below, and send me an email on any photography question you might have. I have a little cold today. It's February, it's to be expected. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can tell by the title, it's time that I investigate these bridge cameras. These bridge cameras, I've never had a bridge camera, okay? So I thought it'd be cool to pick one up and discuss it here on my channel. Are they any good? What are they good for? Who buys them or who used to buy them? All right, so what's a bridge camera? Well, I'm looking at uh, Wikipedia and Wikipedia describes a bridge camera as a camera for those people who love photography like you and me. They have a point and shoot camera, okay? This happens to be a relic this is a, a 110 little miniature film camera, the Kodak Star 110. But anyway, it's to bridge the gap for people that want to get a little bit better photographs than a point and shoot, but they're intimidated by a camera that has interchangeable lenses like this Olympus OMD EM10, right? They get a little intimidated uh, from interchangeable lens cameras. They don't really want to learn uh, too much about changing lenses and all oh, sensors. They could get dirty cleaning a sensor. So this camera, the bridge camera, is the bridge between the interchangeable lens single lens reflex camera wish i had three hands and the point and shoot okay so in, in in short terms the bridge camera is a non interchangeable lens camera single lens reflex in this case this just happens to be the fujifilm fine picks uh this is model s 4080 it's 14 megapixels believe it or not it's a single lens reflex it has an electronic viewfinder as well as a rear screen the zoom range on this camera not a digital zoom optical zoom Look what it says on the barrel. It says a range of 24 millimeters to 500. Now, throughout this video, it's gonna be short and sweet. You're gonna see photographs that I took just today with this camera. I paid $45 delivered. Now this camera, this Fujifilm Fine Picks, uh, was in the box, brand new, or almost brand new, from the seller on eBay. 45 bucks delivered. Box, uh, a bag, the camera, straps, books. But here's something different. No battery, no charger, because it doesn't work that way. This takes four AA AA alkaline batteries. You know, the battery you can find all around the world in every drugstore takes four AA batteries. And I shot all morning here in New York uh, at the beach, as you can see by the photographs.
and the battery level didn't drop at all. It does have a built-in pop-up flash, which you know I, I am an advocate for, for fill-in flash, okay, on your outdoor portraits. All right, the screen is huge. Now, it does have a dial on the top. See this? Giving you all the same uh, settings as on this Olympics, uh, sorry, on this Olympus Semi Pro camera. For example, it has manual, right, on both, program mode, aperture priority, shutter priority, um, a manual, aperture, shutter, and program mode. But this camera, you know Fujifilm makes a great camera. This has a setting. Now, calm down. I don't want you all to think amateur, amateur, amateur. There's a setting on here called panorama. Now, it works very simply. You take a picture, generally outside. or inside, it doesn't really matter. You take one picture and there's a yellow plus sign on one side of your screen. And on the other side of the screen is a circle where you're supposed to put this plus sign in it for when you move over. And as soon as you line up that plus sign into the hole, it takes the second picture. And then there's a, the third, for the third takes three shots. For the third one, you move and the plus sign goes into the little hole. It takes the third picture. Look at these panoramic pictures. Inside the camera, it has the software where it matches them all up and it gives you this gorgeous photograph. Now, I'm thinking if you were going to start off taking real estate photographs for a real estate business, you could be a realtor or you could be a real estate photographer, that setting alone in one photo shoot, we'll pay for five of these cameras. It's incredible. Look at the photographs that I took today. Now, I wanna tell you something else about these bridge cameras. You don't have to worry about packing a lot of lenses with you. I told you, this one lens, let me get off that, get off panoramic. This one lens covers basically every lens that you would have in your kit bag from 24 to 500. Now you would say to yourself, well, you know, 500 millimeters is kind of hard to hold without it getting shaky. It has IBIS. This $45 Fujifilm bridge camera has in-body image stabilization. It's fantastic. Let me just go over a few more things that it has. Um, one SD card slot. Like I mentioned, it has an electronic viewfinder or the rear screen, there's a button up here. You can uh, make it steady on electronic viewfinder or steady on rear screen. Um, it has a huge grip. Look at the size of this grip right here. Look at this, fits my hand perfect. And on the back, it has a place for your thumb. So very, very, very comfortable. Uh, now, you know, all the Fujifilm cameras, digital cameras out today, they boast, rightfully so, all the film settings that it has, right? Film simulation. Well, this bridge camera does have two. It has two. It has black and white, but it has Fujifilm Chrome. 
It's absolutely stunning. Okay. Uh, it does take videos. I don't take videos except when I'm shooting for you guys. But for that, I use my cell phone. Uh, and that's it. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, you're going to see the term or hear the term bridge camera. This is a bridge camera. Okay. 45 bucks Fujifilm S4080. That's the model. Okay. Um, and it bridges the gap. It bridges the gap between point and shoot and real DSLRs, digital single lens reflex cameras with interchangeable lenses. And this is it. This is the camera. Uh, do I recommend you guys get these? Why not? Why not for under $50? Try it. You might fall in love with it. Even if you buy it just for the one setting, the panorama setting. Think about it. You don't have to buy an 18 millimeter lens. For 1700 bucks. Just go and check out my photographs in this video. And you tell me how cool they are. Alright guys, this has been Carmine from New York. 50 years on the streets as a photojournalist. Giving you all of my knowledge. Alright guys, please subscribe and have a great day.